heading, United 1767. Okay, we're out of 39 United Just look in over here and wave. <laughs> Watch, Where gonna, is it? Uh, right here. I'm going to turn so I'm going to show you the bridges. Watch. I'm turning. I'm going to turn. Yeah, you're doing good, Frank. You're climbing a little bit. You're at 4,000 feet now, but go down to about 2,000 feet. You give them a closer view of the city. We have people talking. I have live traffic on from uh, Newark, New Jersey. Oh, wow. So we're actually listening to actual traffic from. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, from the airport. Wow. Yeah, you're flying low right now, then. Yeah, right now, where are you now? Yeah, he's at 3,000 feet. He's descending. Oh, you're going to land? See, there's Newark. That's Newark Airport right there. That? Off to the right, right there. Yep, that's Newark. Oh. And then Manhattan is off to the right of that. Imagine actually doing this in real life. I, mean, I took off. He did. Frank did. He actually taxied out. Wow. Look at that. I'm, I'm maintaining 2,700 feet. Oh, Mike, you used to actually fly with real planes, right? A long time ago, yeah. I don't think I can pass the medical now. Yeah, it is Newark. That's where we just took off. Why? Yeah, we left from runway four. All the blue lights. Wait, so is the co-pilot really just... Does he, something happens to the real pilot? Well, they share the responsibility. If, if let's say, Frank's the pilot flying, You'll be the one monitoring the systems and talking to air traffic control, oh. making changes and whatnot. Look, the city's coming. And then the other way around. Look, yeah. They take turns. Like, Look, let's say you take off, yeah. he'll land. The next oh. time, you'll land and he'll take off. But how switch. come whenever they say who your pilot is, they only say one person? They usually, they usually give you the whole crew. They do? Really. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. Next time. Then to Verrazano Bridge. Yeah. Straight ahead. See the Verrazano? Yeah, I see it. I'm gonna fly over Manhattan. There's the Freedom yeah. Tower, right and you can right. see uh, on the Statue of Liberty's down there to the left too. About hey, ten o'clock. This tells me I'm going. To Yeah. 
you see a video over there, you gotta keep those numbers. Let's say you wanna say, try to keep that at 4,000 feet. So it's going up. What you do is push that down, right? Not so much. You see, if you push it down like that, now it's starting to go down. And push it back a little bit. You wanna say, let's say you wanna stay at 4,000, right? Let it come down. What's that little line on the side, right? Yeah, you want it there. Right, and then as you see, if it starts going up, then push this forward. All right? If it starts going down, then keep it the other way. What's that line, right? What's that little level track? This allows you to trim it down. So this will hold it down for you. Like I said, you hold it down like that, the trim will do it for you. Oh, kind of like What is that little needle? What the, yeah, that's going up and down. That's that's basically telling you if you're going up or down, that's giving you... You, you do, you do. I don't know what to do. fucking crash us. You're crazy, you fucking nose died. That's all right. Now you're back to what? You're back to yeah. You're, you're only at uh, 3,100 yeah, feet. Yeah, but you had a Now you see, if you look at the terrain, Frank, you see the terrain radar. You see how it goes green and yellow. Right. Green means you're still pretty decent. Yellow means you, you gotta start worrying. When it goes red and you're heading towards it, it means like you're gonna slam it. Wait, but now we're lower. We're not. No, we're not lower. We're not at 4,000 anymore. You can go to 4,000. So right slowly. now you're climbing again. You're on your way you to 3,000. Slowly. Well, I have to, we don't go slow. Well, the passengers in the back, like, start getting sick. But you'll stall if you're fucking going too high, too fast. <laughs> Especially if you're on JetBlue Airlines. How about going down too fast? Will you stall or not? No, you won't stall. You go down too fast. When you go down too fast and you have the engine revving, you can rip the wings off the plane. But if you're going up too fast, you can stall, right? <laughs> well, if you're going up, eventually, you're not going to go too fast. You're going to stall. No, but let me. Are you going to fly? Wait. I think I can keep it up. I just watched. Now, you see, look at this. Are you doing anything? You can add some water to the water. Up, up, up. You have to keep it up. Up, up, 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 up.
Not bad, Frankie, baby. We gotta use the pedal. 